Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the definition of current and current density. First we will see the current. So the current is defined as flow of charges per second. That is nothing but I equal to minus dq by dt. Rate of change of rate of flow of charge per unit second. dq by dt is nothing but the current. Current flow is defined as the flow of charges. right? So this negative sign indicates the direction of conventional current is opposite to the electron current right that is indicated by this negative sign. So I equal to minus dq divided by dt rate of change of charges is nothing but a current. Now we will see the current density. What is current density? The normally the current density density refers either length, area or volume. Here we are referring the area. right? So why we are going for current density? Suppose if a steady current is passing through a conductor, the current density is uniform if conductor has uniform cross section. right? If a steady current is flowing through a conductor, if the conductor cross section is uniform, then the current density also uniform. Right? Suppose if the current density will be different in at different points if the cross section is non-uniform. If the conductor cross section is not uniform then current density also not uniform it will differ, differ from point to point. Right? So based on that so we can define current density. Current density is defined as the current flowing per unit area when the area is held normal to the flow of charges right so if the cross sectional area is uniform current density also uniform if the cross section area of a conductor is not uniform the current density will different right so based on that it is defined as current flowing per unit area we are assuming that area is held normal to the flow of the charges right we'll see the definition so current density j equal to di divided by ds right current density d j equal to di divided by ds current per unit area right cross multiply these two so that di equal to j into ds right di equal to current density into ds by integrating on both side we'll get i equal to integral j dot ds is surface integral double integral right so the current expressed in terms of current density s yes, I equal to surface integral j dot ds. Now we will see the conduction current. What is mean by conduction current? So this conduction current is nothing but normal current flowing through any conductor is the conduction current. It is the current flowing through a conductor whose resistance is R. Right? The current what we are normally referring is a conduction current. It is flowing through a conductor with resistance R. Suppose if the potential V is applied across the conductor, then the conduction current IC equal to V divided by R. Right? The potential V is applied across the conductor, the resistance of the conductor is R, so that the conduction current IC equal to V divided by R. Right? So the conduction current is the normal current what we are referring flowing through the conductor with resistance R with applied voltage V. From this, the resistance of the conductor is given by, I will take this equation number 1, the resistance of the conductor is R equal to rho L by A, resistivity. In terms of resistivity, R is can be replaced as rho L by A. This rho is resistivity, L is the length of the conductor, A is the area of the conductor. So, while going into conductivity of the material, conductivity sigma is nothing but 1 by rho. Both are inversely proportional, conductivity and resistivity, right? So based on this, this R can be written as R equal to L by A. This rho is now replaced as 1 by sigma, right? This is not a rho, this is sigma. Now R can be uh, expressed. Uh, expressed as L divided by sigma A, right? Now we can replace this R with this value. Similarly, the V, if E is the potential, E is the electric field intensity in a conductor, the potential V is given as V equal to E dot L. 
normally the e equal to v by l so that v equal to e into l right now we got the expression for potential also in terms of electric field intensity right so the equation one is available here ic equal to v by r right so the r we can represent it as l divided by sigma a conductivity right the v represented as e into l in terms of electric field intensity now we can replace these two So the equation 1 is nothing but IC equal to V divided by R. V is E into L. R is L by rho A. Right. So that L L got cancelled. So E into rho into A. Right. So IC can this is rho. Sigma not here. Rho is a sigma. E sigma A. Right. So the conduction current is expressed in terms of electric field intensity then conductivity and area of the conductor ic equal to e sigma a now we'll see the displacement current so in the displacement current this displacement this current is nothing but current flowing through a capacitor when ac voltage is applied across the capacitor so the conduction current is nothing but current flowing through any conductor with resistivity r and voltage v the current flowing through the capacitor is named as displacement current right when ac voltage is applied the current is flowing through the capacitor is nothing but displacement current id equal to dq divided by dt right so the displacement current can be expressed as dq divided by dt right but q equal to cv this q is, is replaced as c into v so that id equal to c into dv by dt right now it is replaced as c dv by dt from parallel plate capacitor the c the capacitor expression is epsilon a divided by d right a is nothing but area d is the distance between the plate this permittivity right so now we will replace this c with epsilon a by d so that id equal to epsilon a divided by d into dv by dt right now we have one more expression is available e equal to v by d e equal to v by d so that we will replace this so e equal to v by d so this v by d this dv by d is replaced as e right so that e equal to v by d and one more expression is there epsilon e epsilon e is nothing but displacement density d right so this epsilon e is now replaced as d right so we have epsilon c equal to epsilon a by d is replaced after that b by d is replaced by electric field intensity epsilon e is replaced by displacement density so finally what we got id equal to a d d divided by dt area into differentiation of displacement density right so the displacement current is nothing but current flowing through a capacitor right now we'll see the convection current so the name is given convection means it is it is distinct from the conduction current does not involve any conductors and also it will not satisfy the ohm's law right convection current means it is completely different from conduction current right it will not this does not having any conductors and also it will not applicable for ohm's law right then what is that convection current it occurs when the current flow is through a insulating medium such as liquid or vacuum right without the conductor it is flowing through a liquid or vacuum then it is called a convection current it does it does not flowing through any conductor not satisfying the ohm's law right so in this video we discuss the definition of current then current density conduction current displacement current and convention convection current right these topics are discussed in this video thank you all